I'll go ahead and fix that. Well, I'm, while I'm doing that, uh, hello everybody. Welcome to the pre-show. Oh wait, I think I hear it. I think. No, I didn't. Oh wait, hang on. Sorry, I'm kind of multitasking. Um, anyway, welcome to the pre-show, guys. Uh, I am, uh, I, well, I'm your host with the most, Anthony. And, uh, here with me is, is his face away from the camera. This is, uh, Greg Dietz, or Chub Rock Geek. My face away from the camera. Oh, sorry, I froze. Okay, let me fix that. <laughs> I'm gonna disconnect and reconnect to you. Okay. What about that, guys? Uh, apparently... Uh, hang on. He apparently, uh... Huh, I don't hear it. Okay. Oh, okay, that's why I can't hear it. Okay. See that one? No? Oh, whatever. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna reconnect to him. Sorry, guys. Uh, apparently, the thing froze. There we go. There he is. There's his, there's his ugly mug. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Putting on the rails. <laughs> um, I'm going to. Well, I'm not done setting everything up. I just gotta put some music on because I forgot that for some odd reason this isn't working. Or it is, but it's just is not. I can't hear it. So <laughs> give me a second. I'll pop. I'll I'll put some music on for you guys. Um, in the meantime, I got. Man, my pa my week for the past week has been very interesting. Um. And I'll explain that here in a second. Basically, I think I'll start with the fact that, like, I, I, was it? I responded to uh, a tweet that Boogie put out there. <coughs> yeah, I saw that. And I got my 15 minutes of fame on Twitter for a little bit. So I said the one comment, and it's like I got like a good like 60 to 70 people like replying with their thoughts and opinions. And I kind of just tuned out at some point. So it's like, all right. You guys have at it. So, like, I, I tuned out for quite some time. Uh, hey, hey. There we go. Um, I tuned out for quite some time, and I kind of checked back because there was... Holy <laughs> shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, no, no, it's a... Um, I went to uh, put on the stream. So I could look at the chat, and it was at full volume. Yeah, my fault. Well, yeah. Either way. Either way. Um, so as I was saying, oh yeah, so, yeah, I, uh, I, I, and I'll bring up the, the tweet in a bit, but basically it was, it was, the, the gist of it was, uh, it was in reference to, um, Days Gone, and the, uh, embargo lifting up, and you're seeing a lot of people who are having, you know, positive thoughts on the game, um, and whatnot. Uh, the specific person that Boogie talked to uh, was uh, talking about was from IGN. I guess it was in a video or in a preview that they, they put out, and one of the the quotes, and I'm, I'm I'm misremembering here, but basically it was it was saying that um he was rolling his eyes at the fact that it was another white male grizzly character, um, and he was Boogie, I believe, was speaking on the fact that. I guess he was annoyed by it just because it's to him it would if, par partially. If, yeah, so if I may, because I, I did read like that tweet and other people like I read the whole thing because you had commented on it. And I was like, what are people saying about this? Because last time he said something in lieu of this, he got a lot of like flack for it. Yeah. Um, and uh, his aspect is like I know that you want to see more people of color when it comes to games but when you go to the extent of rolling your eyes and getting irritated that there's a, another game out there with a white male protagonist maybe you're not helping the situation maybe you're making things worse that was his aim mm, and uh and you you kind of took that the wrong way you did say like you know you were like oh well maybe they're tired of seeing that sort of thing and when you responded to it oh you got a shit ton of people being like Yo, fucker, the blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay, everybody, relax. Yeah, relax. yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax. <laughs> like, I didn't take um, no offense to it. Like, I, what I got out of that was basically 
from you know not in recent memory recent memory of, of, of video games have gotten a lot better when it comes to diversity in characters but like in years prior past how many times have we seen a white male as the main protagonist in every other game like it was it was a consistent consistent thing for so long and ingrained a lot of us that seeing that typical white male grizzly type of person at least that person's eyes in IGN was probably thinking of the eons of years that we had that not recently recently sure. that, that, that has changed sure and i totally i totally understand that aspect i totally get where that person's coming from i i am 100 percent for more diversity in games shit that's i had a fucking rant about it on this podcast not too long ago mm-hmm. um <clears throat> the uh the issue at hand though is and and this is just my personal opinion anthony um mm-hmm. when you get combative about anything you kind of push away people that could make it better and to me that's kind of what that attitude is that 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 boogie didn't like was that combative it's like i get your point i get where you're coming from but like don't you think you're trying to just stir the pot for the sake of stirring the pot like that seems like your whole end goal yeah. So that's, I think that's where his frustration came from. Um, I see. I personally, I personally don't give two fucks. It's like, it's, it's, it is a whatever situation. I don't care. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but that's also the age we live in, dude. Like, everyone has a voice, everyone has a thing to say. And, and sometimes those people don't need to talk. Yeah. Um. Oh, by the way, you have Anthe on your phone right now, right? Anthe, yeah, why? Okay, can you tell me the number that was just sent to you? Uh, my phone did, oh. died on me, so I had to charge it up in order to access my oh, stream lane. It'll be on my because I have Anthe on my phone that's linked to Half Empty, and I can't have multiple things. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So I gotta open up. I gotta open up my uh, Google Chrome. Okay, cool. If you let me know what the code is, so I can input it. Um, while you're doing that, yeah, no, I when when it happened, I was just like, I made my point, and then some other people kind of just like took it the wrong way, and I was like, for about a good most of the day, I was just like looking at the fun, looking at my retweets or my mentions. It's like, okay, um, that's happening. I'm gonna just do other things and come back to me at some point. Uh, yeah. And, like, literally this guy was, like, tweeting how racist or, you know, the, the thought process of it was and how I, I kind of, like, I came in there just for uh, one other time just, like, to point out to the dude, like, yo, yo, you said this, but you're also saying this. You're contradicting yourself. And then he goes, oh, now I want to come in when you're racist. Like, fucking, I, I'm not sitting here responding to every tweet. I got a life to live. I, and I'm also, like oh, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Five nine. Five nine. Zero, zero seven one. Zero seven one. Seven zero. Seven zero. Verify token. Authorize. And okay, cool. I was like, it should. I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Well, no, it's it, it shows up on my phone. It's just my phone just died. So. Uh, I'm in for this because I was like, I was like, I should be still linked to it. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, I did. I did have. I did have a small laugh at you though, because everybody that responded to your tweet, including the tweet that Boogie quote tweeted you on, mm-hmm. and responded to you, mm-hmm. all of it was like against you, straight up, full on against you. Nobody was agreeing with you that I saw. Nobody <laughs> gave a shit about what your opinion was. They were just like, they were just shitting all over you. And then you took your time. Oh. I think it was the next day. You were like. I do a podcast. I was like, all right. <laughs> I, I, I totally forgot. Yeah, because when that happened, I was like, oh, I don't have a SoundCloud. I have a podcast. So you guys can listen to me there. <laughs> so funny. I was like, it's like I don't think anyone's clicking on that, but good try. <laughs> Gotta respect the hustle. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah that's so, fucking... yeah, that started the, the week. Um, <coughs> and then, like, what else happened? Uh, fuck, it was that. Shit. Um, well, I got to put my cry five on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. 
Saturday. And I played. The, I'm still playing it. Like I or not now, but like I'm. Uh, recently, I've been playing a crap ton of it. Uh, I played a lot of it last night, actually, um, which I will talk about in the podcast, the first segment, because um, that game is really fun. Um, and then today, I just went to go see Captain Marvel, uh, and I already, I already tweeted out my, my first quick thought about that uh, movie on my Twitter. Uh, if, if you if you're listening to the podcast or to the, or watching on the video, hello, peoples. Um, uh, you can follow me on at Defect of Naruto and. Sometimes, oftentimes, what I do is whenever I go see a movie, I go out and as soon as it's over, I give my like gut reaction thoughts on the movie. Um, so it's up there; you can check it out. Uh, just to say it on here, it's it's a fun movie. It's fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. I said I personally said it's a solid eight out of ten, a uh, B plus. That yep. was my thoughts on it. Yeah. It reminds uh, me a lot of it, the atmosphere and the way that the, that movie plays itself. It reminds me a lot of Ant Man. Yeah, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with it, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I will say one thing: this movie does that. Slight spoiler, whatever. Uh, one thing this this movie does that other Marvel movies haven't, or they've they've done too much. I don't know how else to word that. Mm-hmm. Um, is the the villain that has the exact same powers as the hero? Mm. Uh, this movie didn't have that. Bad. Yeah. One of the things I'm trying to figure out, and this isn't a spoiler because we all know that Captain Marvel is going to be in Avengers. Um, how powerful is Captain Marvel versus Thanos? Like, I was trying to figure that out while I was watching the, the film. I'm just trying to figure, like, I know she's well, supposed to help out, but, like, how, how powerful is she? Well, if, if we go by what we saw in Infinity War, he is not that much more powerful than anybody else. Hell, he could get his ass kicked by Captain America if not for the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, um, uh, I see. Yeah, yeah. He, uh... He's strong. Don't get me wrong. He's very strong. But he's, like... If, like, let's say Hawkeye tried to fight him, Hawkeye would get his ever of an ass kick because a Titan is going to be stronger than an Earthling. Mm-hmm. But Captain America, with his strength and hands and all that jazz, like, he would kick Thanos' ass. Um, but nine times out of ten, Thanos has something up his sleeve, and so, you know, Steve would probably get his ass kicked in that regard. But, um, the, uh, her powers, if we're going off of comic book lore, because the movie doesn't really do a great job of explaining her powers, they just kind of like, there they are, and they're really strong, mm-hmm. um, She could ex- 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 uh, theoretically take out Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet, I think. Oh, I see. Okay. But it, it's hard to say because the MCU does some weird shit. Like, this movie is not comic book accurate, if you will. I had a feeling. So so a few, a few things that are not in spoiler territory but are from the comic. Mm-hmm. First off, Marvel is a Kree warrior that crash land on earth was dot or Carol was dying and he saved her life by giving her his powers. Oh, I see. That's right. No, I'm, became, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's baby. I remember. She, yes. Yeah. She became Miss Marvel because, uh, DC at the time owned the captain Marvel brand. Um, <clears throat> as a matter of fact, which is, Really fucking weird for this year. Shazam was originally <laughs> called Captain Marvel, but uh, well, legal battles and after whatnot. Now he's just called Shazam, and uh, Captain Marvel has the Captain Marvel brand. Uh, so that, I think that's really funny to me. That was really weird that they were both coming out this year. I was like, I okay. <laughs> I'm All pretty right, sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was on purpose, obviously, but it's just funny that it just turned. Oh, out it's that absolute, way. absolute coincidence. Like, I doubt that Marvel or DC were like, "Yo, fuck you." And <laughs> there are uh, still a ton of comic book fans that are just confused by this. Like, I there I still see fucking YouTube videos pop up that's like, how Captain Marvel will beat Captain Marvel, and like you see like the this is like. 
I get it, guys. You know that Shazam used to be called Captain Marvel. You're not fucking cool because everyone goddamn knows it. <laughs> um, mm. But, uh... But yeah, this movie does a good job of introducing Carol, I think, as, as a character. Um, I do feel like the movie definitely feels like it had two directors. Because <laughs> there are times where it, it goes in a direction of like, this is fun, can't be serious. And then it just gets real fucking serious real quick. And you're like, whoa. Yeah. I I did like that the plot twist, not only the plot twist, but the, one, of the, one of the twists at the uh, kind of at the end. Like it surprised me. It left my kind of op- my my mouth a bit open. I was like, "Oh." Uh, well, for me too, because as far as I know, that is not a thing in the comics. I'm, at pretty, all. I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's not. I feel like that that was something that they made up, which is fine. I think that's which is great. Yeah, for comic fans, like, yay, that's something I did not see coming, and and yay. So, at least this comic book fan. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, it's. I, I like to envision that's how it happened, anyways. <laughs> and I love the I love the excuse uh, uh, said person gave at the end. That was great. I loved it. Um, and also like you know. Oh, oh, that thing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird not saying what it is to, to people who have not seen the movie yet. So that thing you're mentioning, people were pissed off about. Online. Wait, really? That oh Fucking... wow. It's hilarious. What was? I, I'm I can't all, tell you the yeah, argument because it'll spoil yeah, it. But yeah, yeah. But unless, t- unless we're going straight to spoiler cast, and you want to put a spoiler warning right on the fucking. Thing. Nah, nah, I'm good. I'll, I'll we'll I'll do it off stream. But as a matter of fact, I had a fun, uh, instigative argument with somebody on Twitter. I will pull it up on my phone in just a second, but it is absolutely hilarious. Mm. Uh, because a lot of what you see with Captain Marvel, a lot of the hate that you're seeing comes from a lot of these uh, I would say man-child should people because you could argue that I'm a man-child but <laughs> yeah. uh, it comes from a lot of these guys who think that Brie Larson is trying to kill men in some way when all she wants is equality <laughs> that's all she wants wasn't I'm trying to remember because I, I, was, I was like kind of lightly following it. Like the only frame of reference I have was I heard about it online and I saw a little bit of it on uh, on uh, Philly, Philly, Philly DeVrinko's show uh, last week. And I was – because I'm trying to figure out like why is there so much hate for this movie and Brie, uh, and Brie. And like I think one of the things that was put out there is that she did not want to be interviewed by a white male. No, um, uh, that's not the situation at all. Um, she had a press junket mm-hmm. and there were a series of like it was like 12 white dudes in a row and those were the only people who had interviewed her at this point up to this point mm-hmm. so she she makes an exclamation of like where is everybody else there's no women here no people of color like what the fuck's going on that was her attitude mm. She's like, why am I being interviewed by only white guys that was it it was literally it but you know how the internet works. It takes everything out of context and pushes it to a further agenda. Like, it's fucking stupid. Like I told, like I told Josh on on our uh, uh, by our our the uninhibited show, because he was like, I saw it looks so good. I don't understand all the hate, and I, I explained to him like she's a very vocal uh, person in the terms of like feminism and. Uh, the Black Lives Matter movement and the Me Too movement, all that kind of stuff. She's just very vocal. And so a lot of these uh, Al Bundy types are angry about that. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. But uh, they're, also, they're also idiots and believe that trying to boycott a film is going to work or like, nah. or like dunking on the fucking uh, Rotten Tomatoes user score is going to help or is going to hurt it. And I'm just like, it's not. Yeah. It's not. Not. It it made it is like I think the most money in a female lead, lead movie of all time. Last I checked, it was like six in the rankings of how much money in the Marvel movies that has made. So, uh, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> um, yes. It's... All right. Uh, yeah. Um, let me see. What I'm, I'm trying to find the. Uh... Here we go. 
Okay. So, two days ago, IGN tweeted out, Now that we've seen Captain Marvel, we have six burning questions about the film's events. I read these questions and I was like, did you not watch the movie? Mm. Um, I hate these types of articles because it's, it's, it's a way to try to get people to communicate via... Uh, oh, should do that, actually. Comment baiting is what I'm going to call it. Like, it's intentionally getting people to comment on the thread to make it look more popular and all that kind of shit. So, uh, it's all but, gotcha. um, so this one dude who kept commenting on it, like I saw him comment on a ton of people's posts and all this kind of shit. I was just like, this dude's nuts. So he says, all women have small man's disease. And I went, this is by far the, the best of the dumb comments by you. You were a wealth of comedy. And he goes, it's true. Electra complex, penis envy. Are you small too? And I fucking, I legitimately laughed really hard at that. And I, and I said, I fucking, I, I fucking almost choked on my sandwich reading that. Electric Complex is finding attraction in your father as a girl, not the female version of the Napoleon Complex, you fucking dolt. Thanks for the laugh, though. Comedy gold. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Wow. I mean, are we, are we really that surprised, honestly? <coughs> you point a microphone to the internet, you're gonna get the most racist, most dirty, the most fucked up shit you'll ever hear. Um. Yeah, I mean it's. Let's remember, there was a bot that was given to the internet, where it was learning from Twitter, and at the end it became a racist, sexist bot. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Some of the comments here. They're just, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I all all day I was just irritating these, these guys. Like, I was just like, I was like, sorry, did you, did your mom not hug you? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let me see, like, I have, I have a few more, so let me go back to my replies, because they're, oh, they're so good. Uh, why are you doing? Why are you, why are you doing that? Um, I'm happy that they're bringing the. Well, I mean, I, I would say if they added five, I would have been happy because I haven't played it yet. But um, I like the fact that the Master Chief Collection is coming to PC. So that's cool. Yeah. And I have Game Pass on PC, so I get it for free. Well, sorry, not free. I pay a subscription service to allow me to play the game for free. But I'm excited. <laughs> I'll probably play two all over again, just because like the cinematics are all done by by uh, Blur Studios, which looks phenomenal. But uh... oh, actually going back to Mar Captain Marvel, I have to mention the fact that uh, the tribute that Marvel did to Stanley at the beginning of the film was great. That was awesome. Oh yeah, yeah, I teared up for sure. Mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out his cameo. I and what I've heard is like a reference to what Stanley was doing was a reference to a um, was it a reference to Kevin Smith or it was something else? I'm trying. Have to... you have you never seen Mallrats? Oh, I have not. Oh, it's a Mallrats. Okay. Yeah, he was reading the Mallrats script. So in the movie Mallrats, if you've never seen it, Jason I should, Lee's I should character... watch it though. As much of a Kevin Smith fan as I am, I should watch it. <laughs> Kevin Smith's character is a is a dating Courtney Cox's character, and they're having a bit of a falling out in the relationship, and he's trying to figure out a way to get back with her. And 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 through the course of the film, a little past halfway, he's standing out front of a comic book shop, and uh, you, there's like a, a Spider Man and a Hulk and an Iron Man like statue standing at, like in, inside, and Stanley just walks up and has a conversation with Brody, and um, Jason Lee's character. And uh, basically, Stanley tells him, like, when I was working on all these characters, when I was getting famous and popular, I kind of neglected my girlfriend. I kind of neglected my wife. And I needed to fix that, blah, 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 and gives him some advice. That's essentially what Stanley would have been doing in 1995. Mm. So that's why... That's why they had that cameo. They actually interviewed or talked to the directors about... Um, how they decided to do that for his cameo. And it was this whole thing of like, they were going to have him be a scroll 
and in disguise and all that kind of stuff. And it just never, it doesn't really make sense. And then somebody was just like, what was the actual Stan Lee doing in 95? So that's why they went that direction. I see. Gotcha. <laughs> that's cool. I, I love it. Yeah. Um, I, is, I wonder how many, is, is Endgame the last movie who is going to be a cameo in or has he going to be in more? No, he'll, uh, his last cameo is in um, uh, Far From Home. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they filmed those, like, the way that the filming structure went was Captain Marvel was essentially filmed during the same time as Endgame. Oh, I see. Or, like, slightly right before. Mm -hmm. Uh, And uh, while all that was being filmed, so was Far From Home. Mm. Um. So it's, it's a whole thing. It's a it, the way that they had that filming structure was so weird. Hmm. Gotcha. But uh, but yeah. So, hmm. yeah. So he was alive when they filmed all three. So his cameos are all three. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. But 2019 will be the last of uh, the Stanley cameos for obvious reasons. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So. But yeah, that fucking intro tribute was mm, mm. Got, me right, got me right in the feels yeah that was, that was really good i liked it I, I i really really enjoyed it so props for marvel for doing that okay so here's some more of the hilarious things that i was ticking off these people with uh ign said here's how captain marvel pays a touching tribute to the late stanley guy says by hiring a brainwashed actress actress that antagonizes more than half of its fan base and i went yikes dude half that's being real fucking generous more like five percent at best y'all are y'all just loud well i misspelled loud so that's fun ha welcome to my world (laughs) y'all are just loud and awfully annoying Uh. He, he, he translates with or he translates he comes back with goes can you translate in English this time and, and not libtard? Thanks. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Angry people on the internet because they're so easy to get them mad. I guess it's time that we had a little fun with uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. Okay, so same article about Stanley. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the, the guy that I ticked off when he was like, it's the electric complex, the same guy. Mm-hmm. He says, um, the cat situation represents men who like pussy, but this pussy has teeth. Sorry, but this pussy has teeth. So don't touch. It's pathetic messaging. It's weak. None of what he said makes a lick of sense. Yeah, yeah. What? So this guy responds with, he goes, this is the reason you have 11 followers. What actually is wrong with you? He responds with, I block them all, you bitch. (laughs) So I come back with, I couldn't imagine being so bitter to a girl who said no to me once that I spent the rest of my life being angry at women. Could you inform me what that's like? Damn. God damn. Spitting the hot fire. So So he responds with, what the fuck? Do you mean my mom? No, idiot. Uh, and, then, and then he says, and then he says this, which made me laugh. He goes, "The real anger is aimed at the directors, that witch, and her soy boy puppy dog, and Disney, who are the real assholes here." <laughs> oh man, that was fucking fun. Mm, mm. Fun. So this guy didn't respond. I mean, this guy, this guy probably had a little bit more cautious attitude than everybody else. But uh, same article about Stanley. All right. Uh, he goes. They, they they put this great tribute in the worst, uh, the worst, most feminazi movie. Women aren't oppressed anymore, except in Muslim countries. That's his whole comment. So I just come back with the little like little uh, siren light and says, <laughs> "Dumbass comment alert! Ignore at all costs." <laughs> um. Okay. So same article about Stan Lee. <laughs> You can just kind of see where I stayed on. on yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, that guy again, who tried to convince me that the electric complex is a thing. 
Uh, he goes, Captain Marvel is subversive feminist propaganda and teaches hatred of white men. This guy named Elon says, I mean, I'm a white male, and when I went to see it, I didn't feel like everyone in the movie was subtly trying to tell me to go off myself. Guy comes in and goes, this guy named Fonger says, trust me, just ignore it. Another poor example of a bored white male syndrome uh, on another failed attempt to try to make something good bad. That guy responds with, wrong, it's a conspiracy. The fact that you know, the fact that you don't know is your weakness. The film sucked. And I went, I came back with, nah, bud, you're the weak one here. You can't <laughs> see what's right in front of your face because you have a deep-seated uh, narcissistic attitude. If you felt attacked by this film, then you are lost. Godspeed on growing up. Hmm. He responded with, uh, what bullshit? I didn't feel attacked. I'm defending our culture from destruction. What the f- Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. Woo! Isn't that a good one? All right, I- <laughs> so I had a fun, I had a fun, you know, situation on on uh, Sunday. That was, that was good. Must have been fun that day, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I was gonna ask. I'm pretty sure. You wanna? Did you? So Nintendo, I think it's still holding, but like the open. Tetris 99 tournament where you win as many games as you can and whoever gets the most wins I believe gets uh, Nintendo points um, um, so the way that it works it's over by the way oh okay uh, the, the way yeah the way that it worked was um, you play during a I think it was a 72 hour period it might have been a 42 but I believe it was 72 mm-hmm. um, and you get as many wins as you can the top 999 players got 999 Nintendo points. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. So how, how much is that equal to, to real money? Like... Uh... Hold on, actually. Because I'm thinking, like, maybe... I think that's just the top player got that. I see. And everyone else just got some points, but I'm trying to remember. <sighs> well, it's not in the news feed anymore, so that sucks a bag of dough. Bag of dicks. I know that I know that the the top essentially thousand players got like they're the ones that win. Mm-hmm. But I think maybe just like a certain number of them got a lot of points, and then the rest got something. I don't remember. Gotcha. Huh. Okay. I was curious about that. Uh, I told a friend of mine, and she was like, "Oh, cool. I have nothing going on. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna try this. I'll have to ask her how she did." <laughs> I was. I, was I didn't like, get a single win during that time. Wow. So mad. Wow. And you're you, you're yeah. as far as I know. As far as far as I, I can like see, it. like you're pretty, you know, you're, you know your Tetris, you know, you know your stuff. So I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe maybe Greg has a chance. I also wasn't having the best weekend, Anthony. I, I'm you're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. Uh, loop. Can I loop this? Yeah. Okay. There we go. You're not wrong. Um, what's gonna say? But yeah, uh, so I was gonna say I got nothing else left to say. Blah uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, uh, okay. So I was right. Okay, so the top nine hundred ninety nine players will receive nine hundred ninety nine Nintendo points is essentially ten dollars. Oh, okay. All right. I thought so. Yeah. So one Nintendo points, one cent. Gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see how let's see how let's see how how long that game will last. I'm just curious. I'm kind of curious if they're gonna get some updates or whatnot to that game too. The article was like, 
And if we think about this realistically, one month of, of, of Nintendo uh, uh, Online is essentially $4. So realistically, they're only winning $6. And then if you count that towards it, it's like, Jesus Christ, just stop. Mm -hmm. I know you're patenting your fucking articles, just stop. <laughs> So, uh, I may actually miss Fanime this year, which saddens me. Um, reason being is because uh, we're at a point right now where my, bro my brother and I, we are, we're actually looking pretty good money-wise. Um, thanks to our, thanks to the good old US of A giving us that, uh, that uh, refund. Um... We are looking to possibly move out of here by May. So, nice. um, which means I have to basically miss Fanime, which I mean, there's still like a 1% chance of me still going possibly, but like it's, I'm kind of looking at it. It's like, I'm probably going to miss it. So, which would be the first time in 11 years, I want to say. 11, yeah, it's might be in the 12th year of Adagon or 13th. Um, because I've been going to Fanime for a long time, since 2006. <coughs> and I often go because it is, it is a convention I my friends go to a lot. And it's also my very first like big convention I went to. And it's always fun to go. Also, part of it because it's, I'm part of the media crew for Cosplay Wrestling Federation. And Fanime is like the WrestleMania for CWF. So... Uh, it will be, it would suck because I would love, love to be at Fanime, but, um, yeah, it may not happen. So, which, to be fair, um, I can make up for the Lost Times Anime Expo, which they'll be down here for that, anyways. But this is like another, like, a month, month afterwards. So, which would, which would kind of suck. Um, but, uh, We'll see how things turn out. But if I have to miss, if I have to miss a year of anime to move to a new place and have my own room, and I can, be, I can stream more and be loud, and yeah, hell yeah, I'll take that. So. Yeah. But yeah, um, that may end up happening, but we'll see. I just like the fact that every time I wake up in the morning, like, I always have uh, Tamiyaka's, or Tamiyaka. How do you say his name? Bird guy from My Hero. Um. God damn it. <laughs> I want to say it's Tamayaka or Tamayako. I can't remember can't pronounce it with an A or an O. Anyways, I have. Tokuyami. I, huh? Tokuyami. Thank you. Um, I tried to see the word in my head. He was like, I don't remember. <laughs> right, right. Um, so every morning I wake up and I get dressed to go to work. Um, I still have the cosplay in here in my in the closet. In his, in his head, it's always here. So I'm always staring at it. Just like reminding myself, I'm going to need to update this at some point. Uh, and fix it. <laughs> so... Um, it's funny, every, every, it's one of my morning greetings, him, his head just staring at me with his dead red eyes. Um, but yeah, uh, outside of that, um, yeah, I've just been busy, as always. Um, yeah, basically. But, yeah, uh, I, got, I got nothing really going on, I... Had a rough weekend, not getting into it. Mm -hmm. uh, right, right. And uh, got a cold. So there's that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I tried a nasty fever. Got over it, though. Gotcha. Oh. Who's a uh, menace mm -hmm. Oh, actually, speaking of which, so you got sick this past weekend, correct? Or you're still sick, I yeah. should say. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sunday was when it hit, so. Yeah. Um, it's been the same down here. Like, my coworker just got sick recently, and she came to work yesterday, um, like, at 75%, but, like, she got sick the second time around, because she got sick in Jan, but that's because 
there was a cold going around and I got sick. My, my Everybody got sick except for my boss uh, where she didn't. But at some point, everybody had their turn to being sick. And um, she was all happy that, you know, it was gone now. And then, but then like it came back like recently and she was all mad because she had to take sick uh, leave for a few days. So, um, yeah, that sickness has been going around or like people are getting uh, sick again uh, right now. So, so yeah, uh, it's also happening down here as well. Yeah, <clears throat> um, I thought I was avoiding it, but doing that DoorDash thing and touching those door handles and then not washing my hands before I eat like an idiot. Yeah, that tends to happen. Or that tend that will happen. So, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm not sick though. I'm uh, well, knock on wood. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm able to survive out here thus far. But, uh... I was gonna say. I had a, had a thought, and then I just forgot about it. I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Nothing, nothing special on this end. I've been playing a lot of, uh... Uh... <clears throat> Tetris 9. I, oh, I downloaded, uh... Um, Ape Out for the Switch. Oh, yes, yes. Fuck me, that game is hard. I can't get past the second stage. Wow. I've, when I've heard about Ape Out, it's, yeah, it's really fun and cool. Like, it's top-down view, you're an ape, you're trying to escape, but the way that the mechanics and game works is that you're killing people, but you're doing it in every time you hit somebody or kill somebody, it's like to a rhythm, like to a, it's like a jazz, a jazz beat, which is really cool. Yeah, it's... Uh... It's called offbeat jazz, essentially, and every time, uh, yeah, it's not just every time you, you like, how do I say this? Basically, like, uh, uh, every time you kill somebody, it's, it's a, it's a heavy point in the jazz beat, so. Yeah. It's, a, know, it, the, music, the music is really fucking cool. The visual mm -hmm. style is fun. I, I just, mm -hmm. I just fucking suck at it. I see really bad like i i will get towards the end of the second part and then something kills me right i know that uh it was published by the vulgar digital and i did again like fucking their game catalog is just super awesome also i had to i had to partially say that because during christmas they tweeted out on uh that hey be in our discord and ask uh the Volver santa what you want so uh, I got in there quickly and it was like, can I get the messenger? And it's like, they, they d uh, DM'd me afterwards. It's like, here you go. Like, yes. <laughs> so I get the messenger from them for free. So that's awesome. Yeah. I've yet, to, I've yet to play it. I've been busy with another game. Uh, there the was moment. a, there was a, another game that they did recently, or maybe not recently, but I was still working at AMP when this happened. Uh, but somebody, uh, somebody messaged them and said, I want to play this game, but I don't make enough money. And I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. um, is there any way you could put it on discount? And they literally put it on discount for a whole hour. <sighs> that is super cool. Holy like shit. Like seventy five percent off or some shit like that. It was like That's dope. But I don't remember what game it was. Mm. Was it Ruiner? No, no, no. Was it uh I'm trying to think of other games. Wasn't it the Messenger? Because that was that's recent. <laughs> that's recent. Um I gotta go to their catalog. They got some like really just like kind of weird games on their uh, on their stuff, like stuff that does it, it does not make sense, but it does. <laughs> like there is a game where I believe you're a banana, and you're shooting guys from stage to stage. Um, no, no, take it back. You're skateboarding. That's right, and you're shooting guys with, with guns, and you're going from that stage game. To that stage. game is not out yet. <clears throat> oh okay, it's not out. Yeah, okay. No, but I am looking forward to that game. Same here. They get some weird. They get some weird shit, but it's actually man, they're so it's, like, it's such a cool company. I always find it funny whenever like I buy a game, I'm like, oh, this game looks really cool and neat, and I play it, I'm like, it was cool and neat. Then I'm like, oh, it's made by it's it's produced or published by Devolver Digital. S sweet. Yep. I still get to beat uh, Enter the Gungeon. The game is also a lot of fun. Man, it's also very hard. It is a rogue-like bullet hell, which I 
I love roguelikes, but fucking man, that is bullet hells are like my my Achilles heel. It's like one of the games that's like very hard to navigate through. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Once I'm done, once I'm done with uh, well, I say I say done, and they just put out a trailer for a new DLC, free DLC coming to the game. Once I beat uh, Dead Cells, then I'll probably get on Enter the Gungeon at some point. But they just released a trailer today for their new uh, free DLC they're bringing. And also, like, bringing a new level as well. It's like, ah, I'm going to keep playing this game forever. <laughs> uh, that game is super fun. Oh, speaking of which. Um, I also bought uh, Toe Jam, the new Toe Jam and Earl, but I haven't played it yet. Oh, I heard a lot of good things about Toe Jam and Earl as well. It's funny because I, I, I heard that. I heard two sides. I heard one, people, uh, people like it. It's like the first one. Or people don't like it it's like the first one so it's like oh it's a very divisive it's a divisive yeah decisive game divisive divisive is yeah sorry i had some in my throat um so yeah uh like but i you know i've heard both sides but i haven't seen i, it, I haven't seen it yet but i'm assuming at least i've heard like it's very much the same art style as it was back in the first one Uh, so as far as I've seen, yeah, I mean, I've watched uh, Brian of Having Ginger take play quite a bit, and it's uh, very much in that vein. Like it's very, uh, very much like the first game. Nice. My only regulation of that game is I played the first two levels and then I stopped because I got stuck. <laughs> well, like yeah, I also stuck too because I didn't understand what I had to do. But the idea is to explore and then find. The, the piece of your ship and then and then use the elevator to go up mm. yeah as a kid I didn't get sh I didn't understand shit about that game I was like I don't get what the fuck I'm supposed to do it's same here same here I know people like it a lot so I'm happy for those people um but yeah that is a game that is out that's to what people are really enjoying right now <sighs> yeah I can't find I can't find that tweet that they put out that they made that game like stupid cheap for that person for like a brief time mm, i see see said the wise man i think it was in january that i saw it because i was like it was right before i quit ah i see hmm. oh by the way i got a response from uh e3 regarding my application the big fat no Yep. Based on your based on your information, you do not qualify. But we encourage you to buy the Game Pass to come to E3, um, which I might actually end up going anyways because like EA is having their EA Play stuff uh, for free for people to come to come by and check out their games. So I might actually end, end up doing that. And E3 this year, while I work on Mondays, uh, I can I can go to E3 Tuesday and Wednesday. So the last two days uh, of, of E3. So I'm gonna say I can still get again to E3 and buy a game, get by a gamer pass, so I can go and network and also talk to game game devs of all sorts, high and low, um, about hey, I'm a I'm a streamer. We talk about games every week. Uh, you wanna, you know, give me a code or something, <laughs> make a deal. <laughs> so yeah, yep. It never hurts to shoot your shot. Yep, absolutely. And we'll talk about it and I will play it on here. But, yeah. but with that, 